Hello everybody and welcome to another wonderful Amnesia the Dark Descent video. Let's hop right back into it. Last time I got bonked by that thing after immediately questioning whether or not it could hit me. The answer, if you didn't see the last video, is yes. It hurts. I know. I went skull first in. That's why I have brain damage. Well, I already had brain damage. Like, brain damage stacks and I got brain damage squared, right? I'm still upset about the vaccination process of me shoving my blood into a dead corpse to become vaccinated. That's... I, that's, yeah, I, I disagree. That, no, not possible. Lies and slander. Oh, well, that's your problem. Your pipe's busted. It does. I got a pipe. So when the big scary monster pops out, I'm gonna bust him in the face with a pipe. I like how there's light down here. I don't have to rely on my little lantern, lantern loo. Dude, if there is a monster here, I'm gonna be upsetty spaghetti because there's nowhere to hide. I'm running a straight path. Sorry, I am not picking my nose. I'm itching it. I'm an old man now. I got nose hairs, and I'm not used to it. So this shit itches. Reminder, if you're young, cherish it. I am an old man. I turned 25 very recently. No, I... What do you mean? There's very much an item. It bonked me in the skull. Go, 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 go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Hey, I made it. This room's very ominous, yeah. So did you really have, oh, I'm doing my nose again, sorry. Did you really have all of your workers come through here? Cause I'm supposed to be coming through the sewer for some stuff to go murder the guy, to find the sanctum. So he really made everyone go under that contraption cause there were no other paths as far as I could tell. Unless you could somehow forge iron. Oh no, there was a ladder. That fallen ladder on one of the back paths. Oh, it's not. That's how we deal with that. <laughs> I'll see you later. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Shortest video ever. Have a dot. There was a there was a man cut in half. That's a pair of legs. Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Okay, voice in my head. You said turn around, so I'm going forward. I ain't carrying it with me. This was already here. Oh, it's that dude from early on. Hey, he got cut in half. Unfortunate. That was the very first spooky ugly man I saw. At least I think it was. Now we got the sword guy. I wonder if he cut him in half. Oh, I got an arm. Some fleshticles. So when he told me to turn around, I didn't imagine it was going to be a dead freaking inn. Here, have an arm. Is that really? Is this really a dead inn like that? No. No. No, we must build him. We have the technology. There we go. One more arm. Okay. There we go. Good as new. He'll magically reassemble any moment now. Yeah. I got no idea what I'm supposed to do. That explodes. Oh, yeah, there's light. Yeah, that doesn't help me. So do I. Can I hit, the, can I hit that little popper on the ceiling? Hey, yeah! Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of corpses flinging. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really need to put some warning video or some warnings on these videos. Like, yeah, you're going to see me throw a dismantled corpse through the air while I try to figure out the puzzle. I think it's quality content. No. <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh, yeah, I can actually right-click and he launches it. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> you cuts and bruises, all is good. All is good indeed. I had no idea what that was, but that terrified me. He said turn around, so I'm turning around. You know, I'm going to listen to the voice in my head for once. It's definitely not about to scare me to force me to... I don't trust that. Was that? I was correct not to trust it. I'm just calling it out right now. That's the man with the iron hand. He just broke a gate down with his bare fisticles. I am now hiding very tactically very well placed. He will not see me. No, for I am very well hidden. Very well hidden. You won't see me. 
Turn around. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god. Did it work? No way. He must have saw the disembodied compadre and decided that he didn't want none. Though I imagine he's the one that disembodied that man. He said I brought the darkness with me. I don't think that's how that works. I think the darkness is showing me where to go. I'm not sure who's leading who here. I don't feel like I'm in charge is what I'm getting at. Okay. Slowly but surely, tactfully, crouch walkie. So, I think the game purposely does that, where it puts me up in situations to be spookified like that, but then it doesn't tell me when it's time to move on. Because I didn't hear him for a while there, but did you notice how the music was still going? Like, the atmosphere still said spook danger, until I looked and saw there was no spook danger, and then I realized, no spook danger, I can go. And now the music stopped. If so, that is wonderfully made. Most of the time in some horror games, you can tell when the horror's past, the, 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 the terrifying music, like Resident Evil... The one where you're with playing is Leon. When you're being chased by the big guy, you can hear it. Immediately the music kicks in. As soon as you, the music stops, you know he's no longer chasing you. This guy, I can't tell when he's chasing me or not. Hear him on the left, so I'm running right. Hear him on the left, so I ran right. Did I run right? I hope I ran right. Because I heard him on the left, so I went to the right. Went to the right, that's the wrong way. Oh my god, that man is ugly. He's just really blocking me? Okay, I gotta loop the loop him. That's okay, because I got a rock to get his attention. Hey, you. Listen, I think you're a beautiful person. This has nothing to do with your horrible disfigurement. Yeah, Sandy just dis upsetty spaghetti. Sandy just upsetty spaghetti. I gotta be careful, because this man just might turn and run at me for all I know. Okay. I got one more rock to try this. Maybe arc it a little bit more. Maybe get a little bit closer. <gasps> Upsetty spaghetti! <laughs> You're a beautiful kind, man. The face of an angel. Absolutely astonishing in every way, shape, or form. I've never seen a more perfect human being. Jesus Christ, you are ugly. Get away from me. See, now that I'm in front of him, I can salt him on one. Go, 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 go. You can't upset spaghetti me! I'm the upset spaghetti master! You better climb this freaking ladder, Daniel! Oh my god, I'm moving half a mile an hour! Oh, he can't climb, he's got one hand! Tactical advantage! <laughs> oh, now I'm terrified. Don't you hit me in the head with a rock! Please, don't be at the top of the ladder rider! Oh my god! He's gonna like reach over and grab me. Oh man, that was that was so intense. There is never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up down the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? I got no idea what that's in reference to. But all I know is I'm terrified. Yeah, let's yeah throw that ladder off. The ladder broke during the ascent. It's not possible. I don't think it broke. I think it's more like upsetty spaghetti man with the one hand. Start beating on it because I beat him away. I'm just better. What was I supposed to use? Wait, my needle's gone. Oh, my needle's gone. Why do I have an empty glass jar and hammer chisel and a wooden crank still, though? What are those used for? Also, I really enjoy how I've managed to actually go through an entire segment, essentially, without, uh -oh. without burning through all my oil. So now I have oil. And I'm about to burn through all of it. Pretty fair trade, right? I forgot I'm in the dark. This looks like the right path. So let's go check the other two first. I want to do some exploring. I want to make sure I try to get as much lore. Because I'm fairly certain. Let me check. I think I've missed a few of these journals. Yeah, I missed that and that. And I think these were early on. Because there was a part where the the ugly man, the first time I saw him, there was like a whole hallway I never went down. I ran by him and was screaming like a girl. I never went that place. And I think I missed some uh, some plot because of it. Oh, Poozle. 9th of August, 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. Hot. 
The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Nope, no, 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 no. Whenever you have to take a life of another, sorry. Oh, now I'm hearing Phantom crying. I wonder why he's crying, Daniel. I wonder why. I'm presented with the choice to throw two levers, which I have no idea what they do. So, for now, I will abstain from making that choice. Yeah, no. It won't budge. Well, okay. That's cool, I guess. Um, if you have to kill another, then you are just as guilty. That's that's like a straw man argument. Like, it, there's no behind it. I had to. No, you didn't. You had the choice. You were, all have free will, buddy. It's not working. Something seems to be wrong. Hey, throw that one first. Yeah. It's not working. Something seems to be wrong. Yeah, okay. I think something's wrong with this machinery. My brain right now is brain acting and telling me that the brain is brain-tastic. The brain named itself. How? Because it decided. And I was too young to just, I was too young. I was too young of a lad to argue with society and decide that the brain is named the brain. I accepted that definition. But I'm old. I don't know if the brain's a good name for the brain. Probably pick something like mean and rude and I don't know. Depends on how your brain is. If your brain's nice to you, then yeah, go for it. If your brain's an asshole, though. You got an asshole brain out there? I got an asshole brain. Let me just put that out there. My brain's not the nicest, but I do my best to be the nicest. Ooh, I don't like those sounds. You can stop that. Please and thank you. Tinder, tinder. Oh, the box. I don't like how the box shifted before the tinder did. Be quite honest, I don't see a point of this bottom of the stairwell. Like, flashback. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Wait. Can you feel the syringe? Who's Agrippa? No, I can't feel anything. Who's Agrippa? Alexander. Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move. Wait, no. he's the guy I need to kill. Alexander. No is safe. I don't doubt that, but will it be worth living? That's a good question. To have it a loss is the greatest flaw. To know that you had something better and you no longer have it is... It keeps everyone awake at night. It's the demons that haunt. Laboratorium. Yeah, I saw that coming. It won't budge, you say? That's probably because it's barricaded. Have you tried unbarricading it? No. What, you got a hammer and a freaking chisel, buddy? Cannot use this item this way. Why not? Can you use a shovel that way? Get out of my way, Mr. Shovel. Sorry, but your sources are not needed. Is that a man? Oh, God. Please tell me he's dead. Actually, I don't know if that'd be good. Okay, that was interesting. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you can talk. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me. Are you among the lions, Daniel? I hope so. You want to stop Alexander? I do. Oh my. So Babylon shall fall, you say. I don't need this up. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an orb. I think he has the orb. He has one. 
Yeah. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically impenetrable. But I guess that's why I hope. It could be breached by NASA. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Then if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken hole and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transfer. We should be able to find them there. You have a good day, Grippa. I'm... You know, for a man without a jaw, you projected that voice loud and clear. I'm proud of you. You also have no tongue, so I'm um, not too sure how you're talking. But we're not going to question that too hard. No, sir. No, sir. Why would I ever question? I'm just saying, trust but verify. I'm just going to trust. I'm just... When a toothless, jawless man is telling me where to go, I, I, I think he knows. Hello? Anybody home? Looking pretty spooktastic in here. You gonna jump out and spookify me? Yeah, this is a this place just got really large. So I'm guessing this is like a gel. Torture chambers? Yeah, torture chambers. Ooh. I can light that. That doesn't seem very useful to be honest. Ooh, I can light that. That doesn't seem very useful to be honest. Ah, bread. Let's get this bread. Quiet or you won't get the moldy bread. Hey, Grippa, do you want this? Can you eat this? I think that'd be torture. Give a jawless, toothless, tongueless man some bread. I thought this place was big. Turns out it's just got a lot of cells. And crying children. Stop it or I'll give you a reason to cry. No, that's terrible. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Boop. Yeet. Oh, squishy. Sanity. There was a cloud. You're scared of a cloud, Daniel? Scared of a cloud? Is that a poop hole in the wall? Where they shove their poop through? I don't understand. That hole's connecting the cells, though. So maybe they talk to each other through them? I don't quite understand the point of this room, actually. There's a lot of things I don't understand. This is this is topping it though. Like thermodynamics, I don't understand that very well, but I had to learn. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of the Moscus rose obfuscating the truth in the dim haze. Obfuscating. That's a word. Traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains. They will be back. So, Alexander has had an orb before. I think that's pretty... I think that's new. Now I'm thinking about it. Agrippa said he had an orb. Alexander took it. And now Alexander has my orb and he's doing madness with it. Doing who knows what in that chamber. With my orb? Ooh, him. Why do I have ham? I got no idea what that was. All the spirits just came back and they were very upset at me for opening their doors, apparently. I apologize. I was just curious on what was on the inside. I didn't mean to upset all of you. I opened your cells. You are free. Jesus Christ, leave me alone, though. The, the chancel. That's where I need to go for the orbs. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively and consumed every drop. He looked through the window at the wide first morning. Will this ever end, he thought. Yuck. So, why did he torture with the orb? What was the purpose of that? To draw up the spirit? Somehow using the orb itself could siphon power out of the body? Because I killed someone, but... I don't like whatever that was. Is that the shadow? I will leave right now and not think twice 
Don't you test my cowardice. It knows no bounds. There's my exit. That is my way out, buddy. What are you gonna do? Hit me? Not if I run through that door. That's a cutscene, buddy. You can't hit me through a cutscene. Door open. Blue fire is scary. Oh my god. It's an underground temple. Jesus Christ. What the heck is this place? How is it this vast? Enlighten me, please. Just a little further. Through where? It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. Hell is just a myth? Oh. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. All right. I'm going over here, going through this door, then turning it right back around. Because I'm abusing game mechanics. Knave. Wait. These are body parts, right? What's the knave? Such filthy thought. Good men can... I didn't read that. Okay. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna end this video here, but I'm gonna go right back through the store so I don't forget the nave, the channel. Is this like a bot? Is... Are these body parts for these areas? Is it a metaphor? I don't know. Is it a simile? No, I didn't see like her as. Uh, he reached down for an empty bottle of Lanthem. Wait, 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 wait. That guy... What is Lanthem? He said this heals wounds. That guy says a thick black liquid according to the description. What the hell is in this vial? Um, like I guess saying, sorry. Either way, I am ending the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. This game's bringing up a lot of questions, though. I got ahead of myself with my outro. This video is bringing up. This game's bringing up a lot of questions. What is going on here? This is like, it's as if a lot of mythological elements are correct, but were misconstrued. He said this is like or Orpheus, which, if I remember, is a Greek story, and if so. I must have some sort of resemblance to this because Alexander clearly like, yeah it is how'd you know so what we thought is a story turns out is real and we're there I guess I don't know it's gonna require me to actually look some stuff up to confirm that I'm not just talking out of my booty hole here might be probably who knows either way there's a car getting never mind I've got my back door open and there's a car being broken into it sounds like or at least the alarm's going off so I just always assume a car is being broken into Anyways, I <laughs> need to get back on track here and in this video. Thank you again for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to like it, subscribe, leave a comment. I don't really know. Do the YouTube stuff because this is YouTube and that's what YouTubers do is YouTube. Anyways, let's get more videos out to y'all very soon. Um, I hope y'all do have a wonderful day and I will see you, you, in the next video. I hope until then, you survive. Survive the darkness, the never-ending encroaching darkness of the brain. Either way, bye-bye. <laughs>